Upscale restaurant Canlis is trying to become the safest restaurant in America. It's attempting another idea to change up dining in the time of COVID, calling itself a restaurant turned pandemic startup incubator. Kara Seven's DD Sun shows us the new Crab Shack. The Canlis brothers literally brought in tons of sand to create a beach in this parking lot. Customers will be seated at tables that are 10 feet away. And when you walk in, there's going to be a lifeguard sitting in that chair taking customers' temperatures. It's a flurry of activity in the Canlis parking lot. Painting, sawing, setting up the cooking area. The new Canlis Crab Shack officially opens to the public Thursday at noon. Here we go. Their whole team working to turn an idea. Here's the vision, right? So she built this masterpiece. Into reality. There are huts, sails, even a shipwreck. And do it ourselves. It's been our crew. I mean, last night we were here till midnight with hammers and saws. Customers will be served a traditional feast of crabs, potatoes, corn, and more. It's also just an opportunity for us to have fun and eat the way that we would want to eat in our own backyards. and and to do it in a safe way. This is just the latest idea coming from the Canlis brothers. Some so, of them work, some of them don't. Yeah. And every day, that's, that's our job, is how do we keep our people employed? How do we do it safely? And how do we keep our business alive? And one day, a crab shack popped out. The restaurant last month tried a drive-in movie and dinner. And before that, served burgers and fries in a drive through Plus, there was a bagel stand. This is an extension of this sort of the Canlis Creativity Stay Alive project. The emphasis with the Crab Shack is on safety. They're working to build the safest restaurant possible. We've built in hand sanitizer stations to every table. And will require temperature checks for everyone. This is a statement about doing everything we can as a community, one for another. Tickets for this week sold out in 20 minutes. More will drop next Wednesday. They say these ideas, plus the backbone of their current business, delivering meals and boxes, is keeping them going. That's what right. is saving this company. Yeah. They're one of the few restaurants that has not laid off a single employee during this pandemic, and they have a staff of 110. And people have loved it, and it's kept us alive. This is awesome. Mark and Brian Canlis say their former model of high-end service indoors will make a comeback one day. But for now, they're starting to think already about new ideas for this space for fall when the rain comes back. And I'm told it could involve yurts. At Canlis DD Sun, Cairo 7 News.